I mean, when I say that that uh, body scrub rocked my world, I'm not joking. Like when that hit my chest for the first time, those little crystals, <laughs> and then I saw that I instantly became moist, and uh, <laughs> the water just beaded on me. And when as I went down and got out of the shower, and my legs were shiny, I was like, I'm done. This is it. Give me some, somebody, please. <laughs> and uh, that's what happened. This girl brought me some of the show, so I'm just like stoked. Um, but. I love being in that place where every little thing is just so, makes you so joyful. It makes you feel um, something beautiful. Whereas for a time there, I kind of was losing that. You know, I just bummed. And um, I still really enjoy negative humor. Like, I think it's funny to complain. I think it's fun. I work my wiggles out that way. Um, but I'm seeing beauty in so many started writing in college. It was, I think this was the first time I ever, second time I ever performed, but there was tons of people. And I got dry mouth, like extreme. So bad that I literally didn't know if I could speak. It was like, like that phrase, your root tick sticking to the tongue, top, whatever. What is it? Your <laughs> tongue sticking to the root of your mouth. Tongue sticking to the root of your mouth. I got up and I was, I mean, I was embarrassed. But apparently it was one of those things no one noticed. Another time I did this poem, I just got my fingers confused. I did it at this little coffee shop. And uh, that was during a time in my life where I was in denial of women and, and their practices in the restroom. Particularly, I did not even want to think about a woman pooing or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm standing in, in, at the bathroom waiting to go in. Someone's in there. And then this babe walks up. And I'm like, what's up? And she feels her way. And then I walk into the bathroom. And it was just disgusting. I mean, she had just destroyed the place. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my.
But this time I won't get halfway up there and start debating whether or not morality is a social adaptation, a product of evolution, or put there by God. I'm just going to climb the thing and have fun like I did when I was a kid. And after that, I'm going to go to my vertebrate zoology class and listen to my boring lifeless instructor talk about how there are over 50 species of minnows in just Arkansas alone, but I'll smile and nod and show interest and act interested because that really is interesting if you think about it. Think about it. And then after that, I'm going to have lunch. The same old lunch again. Two more freaking font. <laughs> Sorry. The new Bradley would have said the real word, but I got confused because I wanted to say the real one, and I had to do a Jedi mind to go into the real one. And then I got stuck on Frozen. <laughs> so then I'm going to go have lunch. The same old lunch again. Two more freaking Frozen El Monterey Jack bean and cheese burritos with a glass of distilled water an orange, but I'm going to smile and give thanks and have the... I'm going to give thanks. <laughs> but I do have food to eat because so many people don't. And then after that, I'm going to go to work and paint. But I'm not going to paint that boring eggshell white on that old lady's wall like she requested. No. I'm going to pretend like I'm a juvenile Leonardo da Vinci and paint a stick figure masterpiece of a young couple in a field of flowers frolicking with little butterflies and gophers popping up here and there. I'm sure the old lady will appreciate it later in life. And then after that, I'm going to go have dinner with my papa. And when he cries to me about how his arthritis is bad, his own daughter rejects him, he's sad. I'll put my arm around him and listen. Watch his old weary eyes glisten as he experiences my love for him. And then after that, I'm going to go home, sit on the floor, and start singing songs to the one who gave me this joy that I am feeling. But it's more than just some fleeting feeling. It's eternal truth in which I am reeling. And then at night, I'll lay my head to rest without the slightest bit of fright or fret, 